Oh, what up, air sign peeps? I love you so tarot. Your girl D Kennedy here. Welcome. I cannot speak half today. Okay. So, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Since I had to do an extended for these possible pregnant ass earth signs and fire signs, and so if you're dealing with one, please go watch it. Um, I don't know. Air, I don't know. Whatever. That's how they they came up with. So, um, so because of that, I redid the earth and I redid um. So I'm like, I, I gotta redo, not redo, but just give you an extended, that's all. Because, I, you know, just to be fair, to make them more comfortable with their jacked up ass reading, and then to make the rest of you be fair. And I love you fucking air signs, because as I'm like sitting here just pre-getting ready, your, your story already flew out. And I was like, yup, like as the master communicators do, honey. So I love you guys, exciting and new. So basically, there's going to be new communication that you're going to have. You see, they're laying right here. I was like, sleep the fucking story. There's new communication that you're going to have here um, with somebody, and this is going to allow this is going to allow you um, a renewal. Um, and there's going to be a lot of emotion attached to it here. You know, you're going to be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities, um, and possibly within all of your freaking chakras, you know, your root chakra, your sacral, your dick, your or your bitch. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Your power, all of them are going to be lit up by this by this new communication, okay? And this, again, this is a love read, if you're single or not, for uh, February. February and on, whenever you watch it. I like timeless shit. And this communication, depending on if you're a male or a woman, a male, a male or a female, a man or a woman watching, this communication is going to come from either an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody who possesses those qualities. This is a queen here, so this is a woman. Um, so, or if you're a stalker watching. So, and this woman uh, is very independent, very structured, very balanced, very secure, very stable, very monetarily wealth, independently, like wealthy, possibly a business owner, entrepreneur, etc. You get the idea. Um, I don't know why I just whipped that out and I have more cards here. Because you're not able to see this with the moon card here, also possible cancer energy, but... You know, you will gain the world and in within your foundation and your stability, within your, your earthly realm, meaning your material wealth, right? Your house, your money, your car, your job, etc. And you will be very, moving very, very quickly toward that with the five here of earth. Move five is move, change, and manifestation, and earth is the earth. Grounded, stable, reliable, dependable, stubborn, if you're dealing with one, all right? Leaving you with a, leaving you with a decision you're going to have to make up in your mind with the two of air. Um, either a decision you're going to have to make with or about an empress and that queen of earth. So if you're a guy watching, there's an empress and a queen of earth. Again, doesn't have to be those signs, but like the queen of earth, just a woman that is those things, reliable, stable, dependable, etc. And the empress here, this also is a woman who is a boss. She is a mother, a boss. She is intuitive and guided. So... Um, but there, there was a two of air there, so you're going to be up in your mind about a decision about these two individuals, leaving you with the three of earth here, with a third party situation energy, okay? Again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this also just means this third party is in the physical realm. This is not just up in your mind. This is not something you're actually moving for. This is something that exists with the seven of air here. Being shown to you through signs and synchronicities and moving very quickly with the night of earth. And by quickly with earth, I mean the slowest of all the elements. So quickly, but like slowly. Like he's on a horse, but like he's far. So maybe that's just simply what that means. It's like something, somebody's coming quickly at you, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. And they are either acting like the queen of fire or they are coming to the, or you're going, or you're going to a queen of fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Again, a queen, a rule maker, a boss, a home, ca really, though, a, the castle rule maker, right? The bitch has minions and court gestures in. Sh she's the queen of fire. She's quick. She's passionate. She don't play. That, that's or she's just a woman like that. You understand how this works. And a more fire energy coming up here. And so if you're female watching, you're okay. You guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign because here's the king and queen of fire. So depending on who you're watching, that fire sign is there. And this king of fire, this is a king who is a rule maker. He has court gestures and maids and minions. But you do reach a completion of this cycle quickly, okay? 
um, being the magician and with the sun. So what you're wanting to grow and bloom in the sun, also that is a sign of, of, uh, sorry, when blank, Leo, Leo Sag, and the magician, also a sign of Sagittarius, but saying that you will gain what you're trying to bloom and blossom in the sun with the magician energy. You are ready, utilizing all the tools within your, your shed box, bitch, um, and all the elements of the earth. You're using, the, oh, by the way, water is a very good conductor of energy and of things manifesting so you're using all those elements water earth fire air and there is going to be a message there is going to be communication i'm going to stop there so we'll just leave it at that air sign there will be communication with this possible <laughs> there will be communication that has emotion with the page of water here also could be a scorpio cancer pisces but that's communication with emotion with this possible fire sign a lot of fire energy here aries sagittarius leo all three okay and with that king and queen of fire, like I said, either you're dealing with the king and queen of fire or both of you and whoever you're dealing with are or both have and possess king and queen of fire like energy. You're very passionate. You're very strong. You're very relentless. You know, you're, you're very determined. I, right? And you do it with king and queen power and energy as the magician. You will be up in your mind about this decision you need to make. But you will move quickly toward it in the little physical realm. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Cause I don't, I, you know, I, I got other shit to do, D adulting, okay? All right, peeps, thank you so much for watching. Your girl D. Kennedy here, as I am. Please like and subscribe. Thank you, bye, or don't, I don't give a fuck.